Welcome back to the Keysoft tutorial. In this video we will cover the fine sizing feature of Keysoft. So using our design task data, torque and speed and the previous stage data from the rough sizing just like center distances, gear widths, gear ratios, we can do the fine sizing along with shafts and bearings adjustments. As a result of file sizing, we will get the safety factors for every gear, normal modules for every gear pair. I think we will leave pressure angle as 20 degrees and uh, we will range helix angle and have a look how it affects on our gear parameters, uh, the gear safeties. So let's go to the Gisoft and open the calculation for the first stage. Results presented here we got from the rough sizing stage. Let's do the fine sizing now. Gear ratio is 2.8. Let's set the deviation 1%. I'd like to range my normal module form from 3 to 10 maybe with a 1 millimeter step. I will leave pressure angle 20 degrees. So I also like to range helix angle from 0 to 15 with 5 degree steps. Center distance 329 yeah, and let's calculate yeah we see how fast how quick Kisoft calculates all these results and let's filter them on our graphic I want to see minimum safeties for the gear tooth. I will set up the horizontal axis with a minimum root safety and vertical with a minimum flank safety. Let's choose the color scale the helix angle. So, I like to choose the gear pair with root safety of two and more and flank safety for one. Let's choose the 40 second solution. Yeah, results already written here. Let's update our design. And proceed the same procedures with the second stage. 2.1 with the 1% from 3 to 10. Fifteen degrees with five degree step and center distance three hundred forty three and calculate that's I've made a mistake two point one. Let's calculate again. That's right, and do the same thing with our graphic. Root safety for the horizontal axis and flank safety for the vertical. And range with the helix angle. Yeah. So I think I will choose the 50 seconds result. 
Also we can have a look at the module ranges, so the big modules on the right side of the graph. So but I will choose the 50 second anyway. Accept. Let's close and update. I think we have such big gears from the rough sizing and such a small module for them just because we have the unique design task. So we have not, not a big torque with low speeds. That's why we have such a big gears with a small normal module. So let's proceed with shafts and bearings adjustments. Let's go to the shaft calculation and now we can use the rough sizing feature of the shaft. I choose all these parameters and set the required safety life as the 10,000 hours just like in our task. Yeah. Just like this. So the system calculated optimal shaft and bearings parameters just in a couple of seconds. Let's proceed with the second one and do the same thing ten thousand hours just like this here yeah, we can also set the system parameters not to change these these shaft geometry and so on the last one just the same thing okay yeah I think Let something happen that system choose small bearings. I think again that just because of our simplified design task with small torque and uh, small speeds. Just like this. So the next stage will be to have a look at the contact pattern for every gear stage and choose the optimal modification sizing, the grinding of gear teeth.